Hey guys, Quicksilver Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Ultimate General Civil War. This is episode 10 of our Confederate Let's Play using the GMP mod. We are on to the Battle of Gaines Mill. If you haven't seen episode 1 or started from the, from the beginning, I'll put a link to episode 1 in the top right hand corner. Highly suggest that, but if you're like me, sometimes you know you like to just pick and choose what battles to watch, and Gaines Mill is a pretty fun one. If not, I, I find it actually pretty difficult. I'm probably playing it wrong as the Confederates, but... We are allowed to take 55 brigades to this battle. We got nowhere near there. We made it to 35. And I'm not entirely sure 35 is even worth it just because, like, the last five guys come on. Or maybe it's the last 10. It's, it like, you, your final regiments that or brigades that make it onto the battlefield come so late in the battle that they almost don't even do anything. But... I have designed my army to maximize the different waves, at least I hope they're maximized. We'll see if I get crushed. Um, I have definitely tried this scenario out a few times, and I keep getting B. I've spent a lot of time on this scenario, that's for sure. So at the very beginning, we're allowed to bring 1st uh, Division and 2nd Division of uh, 1st Corps. So I have it set up to where I'm bringing all three of my 3-inch Ordnance batteries onto the battlefield, and then... I am bringing five infantry brigades, uh, they're pretty green, and then I'm also bringing our two cavalry, and the cavalry are there because there are a lot of federal skirmishers on the battlefield right away, and I find using cavalry is the best way to clear them out because um, it's a, a very, very inefficient to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with skirmishers with your regular infantry, and their skirmishers just aren't nearly as good as the federal skirmishers because the Federals have lots of dedicated skirmishers. They have some detached skirmishers, but the dedicated skirmishers are an absolute royal pain in the butt. The next phase, uh, we will have four more infantry brigades, some of the, you know, so, some of the better red or brigades in our army, and then a 24-pounder howitzer. Uh, it's the biggest gun battery, or um, by, by weight is what I mean, the, the biggest guns in a battery, they'll come onto the battlefield, so they're kind of slow, so I'd like to get them on before the latter waves. And then one of the final waves that comes in is 4th Division of 1st Corps, and this is going to have our Skirmisher Cav, our Skirmishers, and then another Infantry Brigade. 2nd Corps comes on, let's see, I think it's like Wave 3 is 1st and 2nd Division. So that'll be the rest of our Smoothbores, and just another 7 Infantry Brigades, and their purpose is to push McGee Hill and, you know, take that flank, and then way late we get five more infantry brigades. I couldn't uh, make any more brigades because just take a quick look at our barracks, we have nothing. Take a look at our armory, we have absolutely nothing left besides lots of artillery. And then career points, I'm kind of thinking I should have gone maybe like five in politics, take the one out of economy, and take medicine and training to to four and four, although that math doesn't add up, maybe like four in politics, go four in medicine, move the one from economy into training, and had four medicine, four training going into this. I'm not entirely sure, but I think that might have been a little bit better, but that's what our army looks like going into Gaines Mill. Um, if you actually click on Gaines Mill here, Gaines Mill here, you'll see that we do outnumber the enemy by about, eh, you know, 13, 13,000 soldiers. They have more guns than us, but the problem is that our army just comes on incredibly piecemeal. So we we're actually outnumbered for most of the battle, especially once phase two opens up, once the map opens up, we are heavily outnumbered. And I kept trying to take the objective that's right here. I think that's uh, uh, it's one of the Boatswains. I don't know if it's Boatswain Hill or Boatswain Ridge, but the northern one. I kept trying to take it before the phase change and hold it, and it's just not possible. So what I'm thinking is maybe we'll move up, uh, clear out the guys over here, see how much damage we can do, and then retreat back to this ridge and wait for wave 2 to come on and then wait for our flank to come on and see if we can bait the Union to cross the river and see if we can hit them as they cross the river. That might be our, our plan. Um, so yeah, because I all of my plans so far have failed. So uh, you know, thankfully with the power of save scumming, which unfortunately in GMP you have to do 
uh, a absolute metric ton of. This this mod is incredibly difficult, and I'm just not that good. Um, and if you're wondering about my settings, I'm playing on MG Lite. I have chain charges turned off, but the enemy still charges a lot. And then I have the random deployment zones turned off, mainly because that's more of like a replayability thing. And I'm just playing this like straight through, kind of want the the normal experience of the battles as opposed to sort of like an alternate universe. I, I definitely understand why that's in there for people that play this over and over again, but that's not me. So I turned that off. And then unfortunately, I had to turn AI scaling and AI experience down to, I, th I think I have it at 0.8. And that'll, that'll go probably up as the campaign progresses. At least hopefully I can get good enough to where I can push that up. But for the moment, it's like, oh gosh, is that even too high? I did get some suggestions or feedback like, maybe try Brigadier General. I tried that. Oh my god, it was way too easy. So um, I'm kind of looking for something between Brigadier General and MG Lite so I can get content out at a reasonable pace. This this campaign has drastically slowed down the amount of uh, content I've been able to push out due to how difficult these battles are and how many times I have to replay them and how many times... Uh, like how much time I'm sinking into them. So I, I, I'm i really trying to find that sweet spot of um, competitive, but at the same time, not tanking the amount of content that I put out for you guys. So on to the Battle of Gaines Mill, 27th of June, 1862. Our General McClellan's invasion army did not expect our aggressive maneuvers. Instead of using our forces to defend, we concentrated them for an assault toward the right flank of the Union army. Overwhelmed by our tactical superiority, the Federal forces composing the Union right flank began to withdraw to the south. After a few miles march, General Porter prepared a strong defensive line along Boatswain Swamp in an effort to stop our advance. We must not lose this battle or else the Union will get the upper hand and reach the gates of Richmond. So let's get started. On the battlefield, the Union's forces that made up McClellan's right flank have retreated through Gaines Mill. And then down here is the Union you actually do have to retreat, which is kind of fun. General Porter now holds a defensive line along Boatswain Creek, which I'm curious if that has anything to do. Wasn't there a battle like Boatswain Ridge in the American Revolution between George Washington and either Cornwallis or Howe? Let me know in the comments below. So back over here, our plan to suppress and destroy the Union's right flank is now at, the very, now at a very, very critical point. The main bulk of our forces are expected to arrive from the northwest. And then we have a force coming from the northeast all the way over here. Lots of ground to cover. A portion of our army is ordered to maneuver to the east and flank the Federals, and this is hopefully the push that will crush the Federals, because it'll be tough. We must coordinate our attacks from multiple directions and pass through the Union defenses. And so there's an objective here, objective there, and an objective here. Then continue south and threaten the main Union army. The Yankees will surely reinforce the area with more troops coming from this direction, so act with caution. We're moving into attack position, and then can once again over here. It is advised to carefully advance up to this ridge, clear the road of enemy skirmishers, and maintain a defensive line until the rest of our reinforcements arrive. And I think I'm actually going to take this advice. I wasn't doing that in the last one, although I'm going to be aggressive and then make the defensive line. I think that might be what I plan. We can create like a defensive line over here, um, maybe draw the Union across the, uh, across the water. That's the plan. Who knows if the plan will work, but that's the plan. Um, okay, so we did read that, and then back over here, General attacked the Union lines behind Boatswain's Creek, only if practical, practical, can't talk today, sorry about that. Their position is strong, good luck, General. So here's our forces, I will be back once I've deployed, and we're moving out. Alright, here we are on the battlefield, moving our forces out, um, skirmishers are going to attempt to clear the federal skirmishers from the woods. Cavalry is just going to move up here, see if they can pounce on said federal skirmishers, and then our infantry is moving up over here, see if we can kind of break this objective, and then before the phase ends, move back onto this ridge and defend this ridge. Um, artillery is going to move up here, but the... Not sure how I feel about how slow the mod makes artillery. Um, they're limbered, and limbered artillery should move at a decent speed. At least that's, that's my thought process, but um, 
Yeah, they're they they might take like two hours to get over there. Uh, it's uh pretty pretty brutal to be honest. All right, we saw something over here, but we can't see what we're shooting at, which is pretty standard in this game. Okay, come on, move up, move up, move up, move up, and then you guys to screen the cab. Right, Quicksilver, I need your. Yeah, I already leave. I mean, they're low tier. All right, can we can we charge them while you guys hit them, and you guys go hit them? This is our new plan. You all hit that, while we go straight for the center and see what we can do. Come on, no, no, all of you guys hit that. Move, move forward, move forward. Come on, keep hitting those guys. Right, there's more skirmishers incoming. And we're taking front kicks. Come on. Alright, now move over here. No, get out of the river, get out of the river. Okay, you guys move over here. While those guys go charge over there. I don't know if this is going to work whatsoever. That swamp is killing us. Oh, man. You guys are... There's some guys on that flank now. The amount of federal skirmishers is a little oppressive. Gonzo was talking about like how amazed he was at um, the AI's ability to tank with their skirmishers. That was a shot. That was a bad shot. And how he was thinking about um, like creating those tanky skirmishers. Okay, let's just uh, see what we can do over here. Skirmishers surrendered, and then we're going to move you guys up into the corner because the retreat zone is a little weird in this. They're wavering. That's fine. Um, but while I was saying, like, Gonzo was talking about trying, like, seeing if he could make tanky skirmishers because there's a, there's a lot of abilities. And there's even more skirmishers over there, and they're going to catch us in the river. Okay, can you guys, can you guys charge, get, get a speed bonus? We are moving so slow in the swamp. Come on, makes sense though. Holy cow, all of these skirmishers. Okay, get, get the supplies out of there. We need... Get, get out of there. Can we move up? And then... Oh. General, come on. Alright, come on. Hit, hit these skirmishers. So many skirmishers. Alright, warmed up. Eager. That's fine. Everybody hit them. You guys hit them. You guys hit them. And then come on. Don't take flanking fire. Keep, keep pushing. And then as I said, you can see our, our artillery is going to take or ever. Come on, charge in. Dang. Our, um, our cab has already taken quite a beating. But these skirmishers drive me like so insane that I'm kind of okay with that as long as those guys don't get a like, blank shot off. And then move over here, pull back. Just keep hitting them, and then just keep keep nom noms, and then perfect. Okay. Holy cow! Um, that was a lot of skirmishers. Okay, come on, clear them out, clear them out. And there we go. Just what I want. All right. Let's uh. Try to get our plan back. Was it like 50 minutes and the artillery has made it from there to there? That's what I mean by I think, uh, I think you guys made artillery too slow. I get that there's perks to increase their speed, but then the rifled artillery loses out on a lot of their other perks. 
so I might have to go into the config file and change the speed. The problem is then you have the horse artillery perk for for the smooth boars, and they move at a reasonable speed. And then if you put the horse artillery on them, they're gonna move like crazy fast. So I don't know. Maybe I have to think about that. I just this is this is painful. Absolutely painful on how slow they are to move. Um, but that's all right. Okay, can we get into position? That is the ultimate question. The ultimate question for the ultimate general of the Civil War. I'm really happy with uh, how many skirmishers we cleared up. I mean, 454, 504. Like, that's, you know, a thousand kills between the cavalry, and they lost 200, so... I think it's reasonable, hopefully. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm hoping that's reasonable. Come on, artillery! You can make it! So we have 48 minutes to do our little plan. Um, hopefully they don't have duplicated units. I don't see any duplicated units. I, I can't tell you how many times I've replayed this mission, even on my lower lower settings, which is a little depressing to me. Can you guys go with that? Alright, I need you guys to start moving over here. And then you guys can move up over here. Quicksilver, move up. And then... And I would love that artillery to be in position, but... I don't think they will. I would actually like you guys to go a little bit around just so you don't get in range and take, take uh, blinking shots. I wonder, can you guys... Does that put you guys in position? Because that would be really cool if it did. And then... No, why does... There we go. Okay. Keep moving out. Yep, that puts you guys in position. That's perfect. All right, you guys need to start. Okay, you are running. So start running doesn't really. No, see, I don't want you guys. I'm fine with you guys taking the hits though. That works really well for me. I like that. I like that. Why am I selecting them like that? I have them hotkey. Perfect. Oh, that's some grape shot, but that's fine. Let's move those three up, and then you guys can kind of sit over here. Yes, no duplicated units. I have fought this battle many times where they had duped units, and it was, it was pretty brutal. Okay, I need Quicksilver. You need to help out those guys. And then hopefully we can do some major damage to them. I'd like to shatter the artillery and I would like to break that infantry. I'd like to capture those supplies, but I'm not going to happen. Okay, I think I think we could charge in. Perfect. That's a good melee. Shattered. They're broken. Let's keep up the pressure over here with the skirmishers. Ah, uh, come on. They're routing. Broken. Broken. I don't want to cross the river. I do not want to cross the river. Okay, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Yeah, so there's the rear flank. Okay. Alright, um... Time to get it back across. Oh, and they came back that quick. Hmm. Okay, well. Oh well. Time to move our forces back over here. We'll let the. We'll, uh. We'll let them do their thing. Great. Our artillery! 
finally in position! Quicksilver, move back here. Cav, go back over there and rest. So that was our goal. I was really hoping to shatter that unit, but I didn't want to get all the way up to Griffin and lose that way. So this is this is what we've what we've got. I think if we could move you over here. And then that gives us some line of sight with those skirmishers. And hopefully eh, you know what? I don't I don't really like that idea. Let's uh let's get everybody back across the river. And we'll just uh we'll let the Union do their thing until we get some reinforcements. That's the that's the new plan. Kinda wait it out for some reinforcements. So let's grab you guys. Put you over here. And then let's put you guys over here too. And then who are you shooting at? I don't want you shooting at something stupid. It's weird, we have I'm pretty sure we have the high ground and we can't see anything. Okay, is Griffin moving over here? Phase, phase change is happening in a second. There we go, keep attacking. This is where we become very, very outnumbered. So that's why I moved back across the river. More of our troops are entering the battlefield. And then even more stagger, it'll tell you these guys come in about an hour. We await our flanking force to arrive in about an hour along this road. And then they'll come down and sort of take that position and push that way. General, it is advised to reserve our troops and attack altogether with the final reinforcements, but of course you may decide differently. I think we're going to try this. Every other time I've tried, it doesn't doesn't work. Um, so just need those guys to get on. It's third division. What artillery? Oh, they have the 24 pounders. So I'll actually probably bring... Might bring third over here, but I mean, they'll first, first move this way. And uh, we will see what the Union does. I mean, they're kind of content just letting us pummel them. Which is interesting. I mean, I won't complain too much. We have plenty of supply. I say that, then we'll run out of supply. But let's, uh, let's move up just a tad with you. And then a little bit with you. Move a little bit over there. Let's kind of get the perfect line. That is the idea, at least. And then... Yeah, you guys. Uh, so far to move, too. This is pretty historical, though. The, the Confederate attack came really in, like, waves, and it wasn't, it wasn't very good. Well, it, it was very good, because the battle was like a mass route for the Union. But it wasn't very good in the sense of... They weren't very organized, so this group here took a, a beating, then they had to, you know, like, fall back once these guys came in. I'm trying to remember, I think it was Jackson was one of the northwest units, and I thought it was Longstreet, maybe it was like Yule or Early on the right flank, I'm not entirely sure. Kind of hoping that the... Union would have been a little bit more aggressive here. Let's uh, this speed things up quite substantially. Okay, I'm gonna slow things down a little. You can see the Union army here. I am going to start targeting their artillery with our three-inch ordinances. And hopefully that does a pretty good job. I do like that the Union is kind of positioning themselves over here because third division Probably gonna take that position that we did before. Uh, I probably still need to speed things up though. I did a little bit of a cut. You can you can see the time, time difference there. But the Union's being a little passive. I don't see many duplicates. So I think there's a there's a duplicate there of artillery. Are they charging to here with us? Is that what's going on? I would like the three inches to, to do counter battery fire for as much as we can. Wow, they're in shell range over there? That's not good. 
Okay. We might have to start pummeling these guys. That is a big unit. They're doing a decent chunk of damage. Where is they must have more guns. There's another Hexamar, Weed, Getty. So I see five artillery batteries. See if we can pummel these guys. I would, would really like to continue doing counter battery fire, but this is working for now. If we could get that 24 pound howitzer up, that would be amazing. I was really expecting the Union to be a little bit more aggressive, but it's probably because we have a nice position and they don't. Every time I try to hold this position, the Union is, like, excessively aggressive. Now, unfortunately, this battle doesn't give you much time. They change the timers, and it ends at, like, 6.30, whereas this battle should go into the dark hours of the night, um, historically. So that's... I find that a little unfortunate. Um, yeah, that'll that'll work. I mean, have to figure out where to put this up to. Probably over here. And then these guys. I need you guys to scout over here. Make sure there's nothing on their point. I have to watch out for reinforcements because. Okay, I don't want to shoot those guys anymore. I want to shoot their artillery. Flint, man. Okay, Quicksilver, you're going to be needed over here. Because this is going to be a pretty big push, to be honest. Oh man, they are really hammering that. Okay, I don't see anything over here. Can we? I'm a little nervous here, but I think if we push up a little, I think it'll be fun. Okay, there's reinforcements, there's a supply weapon. That's interesting. I might need to pause in a minute just because of the, the reinforcements. I need you guys to run. I need this artillery over here, and I need Quicksilver over here. Yep, let's, uh, let's get that supply wagon. Alright, I need a pause, and we will be back in a moment. Okay, a lot of pausing going on, but that is how we like it. We need to take out that artillery over there. I think we captured those supplies. Perfect. Okay, we need our cav back in the mix. We need that supply to go there. Did uh did we get more supplies we did? Perfect. I didn't move them. Uh are those guys routed? That's weird. What is like can you guys Hold on. Let's let's put some pressure on them, please. That's uh that's looking a little scary. Okay. Let's continue. Can we can we push up over here? Be flanked, perfect. I like that. That artillery's doing fine. Okay, let's just get this cab. There's there's some big units over here. So we just need to pay attention to that. And if we can flank around with all of those skirmishers, I have a bunch of skirmishers coming down here. That army is all coming down here. Um, so Griffin. Griffin is the the one I'm scared of. Um, okay, so group two. I need you to be a little bit more like so. And that's great. Getting them to all get, uh, have them all push out like that. That's perfect. And then Great, we have skirmishers out over here. There's some supplies over there. We'd love to grab those supplies. I don't know if we'll, we will, but we have even more skirmishers moving out. We have Cav for a counter charge. We have Quicksilver is going to be over here. Beauregard 
is going to be over here. These skirmishers move up. Okay, that's another large group, but that's fine. Keep, we just need to keep hitting them hard. Twenty-four pounder is doing great. I would like the twenty-four pounder to uh, kind of need like, you guys to move more. No, 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 no. That's, that's not. That's not good. Okay, that's let's do more like that. Okay, I think I think what I actually need is you guys to go over here. Okay, come on. No, that was not good. I moved them terribly. I'm trying to create a line here. <laughs> you guys probably can't tell because it's the world's worst line. Okay, Quicksilver, get over here. Yeah, I can I can feel a charge coming. There we go. Okay. We're going to... We will countercharge them if they make it to the line. They didn't. Okay, perfect. Alright, I need one of you to go there, and the other to go there. You guys are routing already. Crap. Okay, come on, move up. Group two, get up here. I need you guys to maybe shift over here. And then... This is kind of working. Did you guys capture that supply wagon? You didn't. Uh, are we going to get that? I don't know. Okay. Over here. This is fantastic. Can we... Can we get a line like that? And then... These guys... I need you guys to reinforce over here. Okay, so this is... Yeah, they're wavering because they can't get across the across the river is the problem. Yeah, we're, we're struggling with that river right there, so we'll just... We'll give up put placing the unit there. That's, that's just going to be the next step, is giving up on that. Barns over here. Adrian Berry is killed. Okay. Not good. Okay, they're routing. Okay, 24 pounder. Good. Alright, can you guys move up? Can you guys move up with them? And then... That would be perfect. Something like that. Did you guys capture those supplies yet? Oh crap, come on. No, I don't need you going that far. Let's have a secondary line like so. And then let's see if we can do something like that. We haven't we need to go capture that by the way. No! Stop! 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 And they're gonna charge because of that? Is that what's going on? No, stop getting flanked! We finally got those supplies. Can we get them to route before they hit our line? Yes, we can. Can you guys get up? Alright, you guys just go over here. Doing. Okay, I would like you two to push forward because you guys are like, or you guys are fresh. And I would like you four to push forward because you are fresh. We don't need that many. Move over here. I don't- where'd their cab go? That's a- that's a mystery. Break their defenses before nightfall. So, we get more reinforcements, which is good. It feels like it's not needed anymore. 
Every single unit of our attacking force is now present on the battlefield. That's a lie. They take a while to get onto the battlefield. And then before the end of the day, we must push the Union south of those ridges, prepare for the final assault. So you can see on the map that uh, that's you know, it's, it's a lie. <laughs> they do not... Not every single one of our forces are on the battlefield. Okay, so we're going to push through. Who's this? A 12 pack. Great. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shit. This is bad. Come on, Cav, get over here. Beauregard, get over here. I need to break this. Okay, Cav, charge in! They're wavering already, which is crazy. It is crazy how fast dudes wave. Okay, you guys need... Can, can we do no crisscrossing? Thank God. Uh, you guys are doing some... Oh, wait, no, 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 that was the wrong unit. Didn't mean to click you. Okay, where's our cab? Get, get out, get out, get out. I didn't see if we lost anybody there. I think we shattered somebody. I need all these skirmishers to get out of the way. Who's charging? Holy cow. Okay. Come on. Move up, guys. Quicksilver, you need to get into the fray. These supplies over here. A lot of charges by the enemy. Need our lines to do better. Okay, how's this going? Come on, hit that. We have a routing. More troops arrive to press the attack. There's, there's the rest of the troops. Okay, everything into them. Beauregard. Come on, don't cause a chain route. This is bloodier than I wanted. We have an hour 40. Okay. What can you do for me? I need you guys to move up over here. I need that skirmish cab to be group 4. I need the skirmishers to be group 5. I need the skirmish cab to get on this flank. I need the skirmishers to get on this flank. This is... Uh, this this flank is a disaster. Okay, can we... Can we fix this? These guys over here. That would be great. These guys up on this hill. Beauregard with the troops. We need these guys to push up. We need the cavalry to be... Okay, you guys are... Feels like you're a little bit too much at the moment. Alright. I need you guys to form the new line. And I need... Our guns to be over here. Are you not part of group... Okay, group 2 with you. Group 2. I screwed up with that. We've basically been down... An artillery piece this whole time. I don't know. Okay, what are you guys doing? No, no, no. Okay, stop. You're fine. You're, you're fine. I needed you guys to go over here. Ah, this is, this is a complete mess on my part, and I apologize for it. This is very messy. I'm not doing well on positioning the troops at all. I don't like that I'm struggling to position troops. Okay, we got more troops incoming. Cool. Okay, I need you guys to dismount. Come 
then move up. You probably so messy. So messy. Have to push them off though. We have an hour and nineteen. Push them off. We can get a get a red uh, brigade over there. That would be great. You guys can harass those guys. That would be great. You move over here too. Okay. Push forward. Way too many casualties. Way too many casualties. Want to get weed? You guys are taking a boatload of damage, I just realized. Okay. Can we... This is, this is a bloodbath. Move up a little bit more. Move up. Just in case they charge over here. Who's charging? But, no, we didn't charge, right? I just wanted you guys to shoot them. Okay, we need... You guys to move up to there. Are you seriously charging in? Come on, move in. Alright, get back, Cav. That's fine. Alright, we have the W. Oh, completely, yeah, these, these units seem not necessary. Okay, how are we doing over here? I would say not the greatest. I'm trying to take out that artillery. But... Actually, can you get out of there? Maybe you two pushing up over here? And then... Could you guys go in front? Yep, fine. Burgard, Cav, fine over here. These skirmishers are definitely taking it. I think at this point, we're going to be good with what we've got. I mean, we'll just move troops, we'll move artillery. It'll take five years for that artillery to move. Who's... Who's not absolutely destroyed? Nobody over here. Look, I mean, look how much artillery... That's, that's crazy. Crazy to, to look at. Just, uh... You guys regroup with the parent unit. How are we doing over here? I mean, the skirmishers are doing terrible. Alright. Uh, Operation Stop What You're Doing Over There, because you guys did a terrible job. We have 47 minutes. I mean... Okay, let's look over here. You guys are fresh. So let's have you guys move. Let's have you guys be like a second line. 
I don't know what I really want to do with you. You all, let's have you regroup, you regroup. You guys can go through the swamp. Beauregard over here. And then we can have well, these guys move up. You can move up. You can sit over here. And group 2 could move up over here. Quicksilver over here. Where's Beauregard? You're in a decent position. And then have you guys move up over here. Have you guys kind of move. Uh, it's not a great position, but it's fine. We'll see if we can get them to come to us. Don't need the. Uh, this, this swamps are terrible. We've established that. Alright. Right, you guys... I mean... I did... I did waste some time, but... I mean, how much time it took for all of them to get into this... It's pretty crazy. Alright, let's see where you guys need to move for this to work, and then let's just do that, and then we'll just have you guys over here. You guys can regroup with somebody. Yeah, the cab are basically done. So this is just, I guess, some XP grinding. Okay, wow, that battle was a little... A little crazy. Can we? I would love to, to do something. Feels like, like ugh. I don't know. This feels like a terrible, terrible place to be. That, jeez. Okay, that was a terrible idea. All right, get get out of the swamp. The swamp has a death sentence. Jeez. Okay, and then I put my guys right directly back into the swamp. I understand the the, the irony there. Okay, get a unit. Waver, not build, well, not waver. Completely route. Let's move up. I mean, we have a lot of, a lot of flank hits. Ah oh, no, we had a colonel wounded at the very end. What is? How are we? Okay, get get in here. Oh, it's because they can shoot through their own guys. I mean, that's dumb, but... Okay, come on. Move, move around. Oh, and battle over. Okay. Ugh. 6,853, and we only killed 10,400, and we only captured that many. That felt like a terrible battle. I'm not gonna lie, but... I've fought that a million times and uh, did not like it. Wow. Wow, one of their cav did amazing. Artillery did amazing. Yeah, it's not good when the Union has some of these kill numbers. And then how about losses? 872. At least they're from the 2000 strong. Unit, so sends. Ugh. I think that was at the end. I screwed up there. Same with Leonard. I think that was at the end. Um, I love seeing all those promotions. Barry deceased. Barry, uh, double Barry. Adrian Barry died twice. 
Jeff Fisher, the uh, fired old Rams head coach, he died too. So that's unfortunate. Adam Leonard, well, he didn't die, he got wounded. Adam Leonard wounded. Lots of promotions. I might turn down the, um, I said I, I went back to normal for the, for the promotions, but I really, I, I feel like 80% of your curve should kind of be kernels. Um, that's just how I feel about it. So as far as what we captured, I just feel disappointed on this screen. Oh my god, we captured like nothing. I always feel disappointed on this screen. Unfortunate. We didn't get many surrenders that battle. Like there wasn't, it was really unfortunate. Didn't, like the guys shattered more than surrendered and then we didn't get a, uh, get many, but we didn't have many uh, chances to force surrenders. So that was pretty rough. This, this battle, absolutely rough. And as I said, bah, not, not good on our part, but AP Hill, one of my favorite uh, generals of the American Civil War. I really like how he performed during the civil war um his uh, he had his division was called the had the moniker of the light division um for the longest time then he became a corps commander by gettysburg um a very a very under would you say not underappreciated it's i don't like saying appreciated for the confederates because you know that whole deal but um uh yeah you, you know the words I'm talking about. He's not talked about a lot, I guess, is the best way to put it. Um, when you think about Confederates, you think of, like, Jackson, Longstreet, Robert E. Lee, but A.P. Hill was on the same same page as, like, Longstreet, basically. Or he, he was he became a corps commander in a very large part of Lee's army. Unfortunately, he was sick a lot, which was one of the problems. Kind of like Napoleon-esque in that way, where... When he was able to command his men, he was really good, and but he was sick often. And he died, like, right at the end of the war. Killed in action, right at the end of the war. Um, which, pretty crazy for... Uh, he, he was also involved... So when, um, when Stonewall Jackson was shot at Chancellorsville by his own men, A.P. Hill was with him, and he got shot too. Um, but his wound was not anywhere near as bad as Jackson's, of course, so... That's pretty brutal. Oh man, our army. And we go straight into, uh, was it Malvern Hill? So we'll see how that goes. We could create five more. What does our barracks look like? Ah, oh, that's not enough. I guess we could have five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Lieutenant colonels are fine. Oh, and we got some guys back, including Thomas Jackson, so yay. And then an E.P. Hill. You know, this This is enough. This will be good. Poor Jeff Fisher. Oh, uh, your Rams tenure was terrible. Um, I'm not a Rams fan. I just like to point that out. Okay, so probably go training and medicine. I think that's what we will do here. And then after... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to yeah. apply. That'll be good. What are our uh, veterans up to? Their stats are good. Our recruits' stats aren't too shabby either. Um, uh, yeah. Ooh, okay. What's our? What can we get reputation-wise going into this next battle? Not a lot of stuff I care about. Rifles are decent. I don't really need any of that. Eighteen. We have twenty-four to spend. Lafayette and the laws for three. I mean, we could just do eighteen. Twenty-one. Call it a day. Take the morale hit. Although, I'm starting to think we need to not take the morale hit. This, uh, they took tons of casualties for no no XP, basically. I did not play that battle well. I think my strategy worked, but then I got really loose at one point, and it became, it became a big mess. That, that battle is hard because you don't have a lot of time when you really think about it. Especially with how far away your reinforcements come on, and um, yeah, it's, it's interesting, but that, that worked out. My, my other attempts where I, like, take that first objective and hold it were disastrous. The enemy just absolutely demolished me all the time, so, um, yeah, not too bad, not too great. I think we could have done a lot better, but oh well.
Anyways, that will be it for today's episode, so please like, comment, subscribe, all of it, YouTube jazz, let me know what you thought about the battle. Um, how do you do this battle? This battle is, uh, it's a lot more interesting and difficult than I thought it would be. Especially historically how, I guess I shouldn't say the Confederates had an easy time, but like once the Union broke, they crushed them. And this just, uh, really hampered by the... The timer, I feel like the timer was too short on this battle, and how, like, where your reinforcements come from. Because really, you should be able to amass your entire army and attack, and it felt like you were kind of rushed because uh, that, that timer ended. It was like 6.30 at night that the battle ends, which is, I'm pretty sure for Games Mill, it went into, like, nearly into the dark. Um, pretty... Like, the, the Union broke, like, right before before night time. It was, uh, if they could have lasted a little bit longer, they would have been able to essentially reform in the morning and uh, potentially hold off the Confederates, but they were unable to. So, as I said, that is it for today's episode. As always, guys, until next time.